Hey guys, it's Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum. Out taking a spin on this classic 1983 BMW K100 RS. This is the flying brick as it's known of. And uh, it's their four cylinder 1000cc inline four. BMW built this bike to compete with the, the Japanese manufacturers who were coming out with some badass 1000cc Kawasaki's and Hondas and uh, they wanted to build a bike that would one up them and that's what they did with this bike. It's the awesome cross country cross country cruiser. Everything works beautifully on the bike. The horn, uh, the turn signals, the front left, the front right. I checked everything on the bike. The previous owner was pretty meticulous about ma maintenance. Only has 30,000 miles on it. Um, this bike is good for 137 miles an hour top speed. It was built to uh, trans uh, for the German Autobahn and it's it's very very fast and comfortable uh, about 90 horsepower which was one of the most powerful bikes made at the time it's a four cylinder inline four the crankshaft is on the other side and this side is the heads it's a double overhead cam 16 valve four cylinder inline four with fuel injection now this looks a lot like the motor that was in their their the three ser series cars um, and in the m3 of this era uh, the M3 E30 had the dual overhead dual overhead cam motor. That's a legendary legendary race car. Uh, actually, one of the most successful cars uh, that were produced uh, ever. Um, if you look at the race wins and the stats, agree with the in helmet cam, it, but, it, no, uh, they, they they can definitely hear me. But uh, and this borrows heavily from that. We see these all the time with 100 plus thousand miles. The motorcycles. In their bullet. Yeah, this one's barely broken in with 30,000 miles. It has some nice upgrades like this Corbin saddle, which is super comfortable, good for 1,000 mile ride days. Um, it has a set of Metzler Laser Tech tires front and rear. The brakes, the clutch, transmission, everything works beautiful. It's on point. Um, this is the RS edition, which is the uh, um, sport rally sport style. Uh, I really, I really like the looks of the fairing. It stood the, t the test of time. It still looks awesome after all these years. These are removable BMW saddlebags. If you're not going touring, you can pop these right off and uh, you'll be a, um, a little bit more uh, sporty look without the bags on there. It's all original right down to the exhaust system. The paint's in, in great condition. Um, it's got the luggage rack on the back here. So I guess I'll take it for a road test next. Um, I'll have to grab the dealer plate pop it on there I'll take it for, take you for a little ride on it so I know with vintage dirt bikes I always show you the frame rails with, with vintage uh, motorcycles like this bike is 36 years old always look in the gas tank there's a clue the inside of this tank looks brand new uh, the previous owner ran Startron on this the inside of the gas tank is spotless like it just came out of the out of the dealer floor and there's an indication the whole fuel injection system is is in mint condition too the bike starts up immediately with the electric start and idles beautifully at 1,000 RPM. One of the best running vintage fours I've been on. The Corbin seat's super comfy, and she's ready to rumble. Even has a built-in uh, connector to the battery if you want to run your, your heated gloves or heated vest, or if you want to put a battery tender on it. So th the previous owner is a uh, um, military, uh, decorated military veteran. He actually has two purple hearts from two tours of Vietnam. He was telling me some harrowing stories about uh, what happened to him over there that uh, I won't share with you right now, but definitely a guy has my respect. Uh, all veterans do. This guy is a legit patriot badass who uh, put his ass on the line for our country not not only once but twice and uh, earned the Purple Heart for it. He had a big collection of bikes, 17 bikes, and uh, was thinning out his collection a little bit. He's got two brand new BMWs and decided to sell this vintage one. He had two vintage BMWs. He kept the uh, kept one of them and sold this one. He had two of the same bikes. Uh, definitely a a uh, expert level rider who took really good care of his stuff. So without further ado, I'm gonna do a drive by. Okay, I'm gonna do a drive by here so you can see what she looks like rolling down the road. Looks super sharp. We had one of these in quite a, quite some time ago with a pipe on it. Had a four cylinder, four into one. Had a um, a header on it, and it sounded awesome wasn't my bike it was one of my friends bike he had us take the header off with the stock pipe on much to my chagrin I would have preferred to leave it like it was that was pretty cool super smooth it's got an LED 
gear indicator on the dash right here showing we're in fifth gear uh, has a clock on the dash um, speedometer looks brand new there's no fading of the dial or anything like that uh, the trip meter and speedometer work beautifully as does the tachometer gear indicator and also the turn signal um, indicator right here so you don't forget and take off with the turn signal on busy intersection everybody wants to go home on a Monday afternoon thank you sometimes you get a nice person in the car let you out shifts beautifully and like I said with, with uh, 90 horsepower on tap here she's a little rocket if you want to go fast it'll go 137 miles an hour fast which is faster than you really need to go in the United States here but if you want to it'll do it and the fairing gives you full body protection from your ankles all the way to uh, your neck the mirrors are situated beautifully and uh, they don't bounce around or vibrate much so you can see out of them clearly and it handles like you would expect a brand new BMW to handle this thing's tight there's no flex anywhere in it uh, the brakes are on point triple disc brakes like I said it's a, it was ahead of its time um, and that's what BMW did they built a bike to one up the Japanese four cylinders of that era the Kawasaki Concours and the uh, the Honda CBs and the Suzuki GS 1000s and this one stood the test of time these like Kenny said earlier these are easily uh, 100,000 200,000 mile motors before you have to do any work to them they're just bulletproof and smooth very smooth very little vibration in the handlebars the hallmark of a four-cylinder well-balanced four-cylinder engine and then an idle you don't see the, the uh, front wheel bouncing around like you would on a twin it's cold out today it's uh, about 30 degrees so I'm gonna wrap up this little tour and uh, turn back around and head back before I freeze With the right gear on, if you have a if you have a heated vest, and which this is equipped for, you could you could hook it into the system here. You can ride these year round. They're rated for about 54 miles of the gallon, so they're very fuel efficient, fast, smooth, fun, and reliable, and they're an excellent value right now. Um, I was going through the NADA value. They they valued the number one condition bike at eight thousand dollars, the number two at six. I think the three was. Um, 55 or 45 but uh, this is definitely a number two bike or a number three bike a new number one bike would be like a concourse machine I'd call this a number two bike so definitely an excellent value uh, we'll have the reserve set below what the current value is and we'll let you guys decide who, who wants to ride it the most but at whatever price it's gonna be an excellent value and a bike that's built to last German engineering the clutch is super smooth. This is this is a thoroughly serviced bike. Shock is nice and smooth. Forks are nice and compliant. This is definitely a bike that's ready to go cross country tomorrow. Let's get on and go. first BMW I had was a 1971 R60-5, the boxer uh, toaster tank. Very cool bike. Stone cold, reliable. I rode that thing for a few years and traded it up to a Japanese uh, 1000 GS. But um, I've had quite a few BMWs over the years and they've never let me down. They're, they're just super reliable, fun bikes. See if we can squeak through here. Couldn't do that with a full dresser, that's for sure. That's the thing about this bike. It's a, it's a uh, sport touring bike, so it looks like a sport bike, but it's got the bags on it, so if you want to take her cross country, you're good to go. The, the handlebars are at a nice position where you're not all bent over. 
definitely really nice. We got a K1200 over there. That's the one my, my buddy Mark took the pipe off of. That thing is super fast. Definitely a fun bike. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. 860-454-7024. Ship it anywhere in the country for around 500 bucks. Give us a call for a quote. Is there anything you'd like to add, Kenny? M Power Motorsport. This is what uh, this is what legends are made of. My daily driver right now is an E30 with 240,000 miles on it with a stock engine internal. So BMW engineers know what they're doing. Yeah, this this one's pristine. 30,000 miles, barely broken in. Good luck bidding and God bless America.